Hey guys, my name is Moon, and welcome back for more Higurashi When They Cry Chapter 2 What's in Higashi? So, last time Keichi and his dad went to Angel Mort, right? And then there he saw Mion, but when, when she revealed that she is actually named Shion, Mion's sister, right? Is she actually Mion's sister? Is she playing a character? Who knows, but yes, let us continue. Where are we? Okay, here. So I guess we're in chapter 3 now. Continue. Okay, if you don't take cooking seriously, somebody's gonna, going to get hurt. What? A lazy yeah wafted through the class in response. Half of the school day to the half of the school day the way it was going to be home economics class, so I guess they're gonna be cooking. The plan was for everybody to make curry rice and give it to the forest rangers who let this building be rented out as a school. If everybody were making curry in the same pot, it would have been more of a party-like atmosphere, but this was school after all. Excluding the younger students, each one of us would be making our own curry, with the results being judged. But yeah, is curry, like, curry is probably really, really, really big, right? One of the most popular foods in Japan. Yeah, because whenever I see an anime or game or in general anything, like the, the main protagonist will always eat curry, right? That seemed like a needlessly passionate sermon on curry. Well, whatever. <laughs> okay. <laughs> The curry tyrant. <笑>あ、いや、<笑> I mean, true though, yeah. It's bad if you eat curry all the time, right? Okay, who did that? Embedded into the table right by my fingertips, a chef's knife, no, knife a ladle, and a spatula hung gently as they still quivered. The teacher, while still mixing her own pot, was looking this way, smiling. Saying even a little bit more would make my situation a lot more dire. Hey, hey. Shikari majimeni kare wo tsukreba ii wake da ro. Demo kyo wa so kantan ni wa ikanai no desu. Ano ne, mi chan ga. It's written all over her face. If the playing field is even and we're being judged, there's no way this won't turn into a competition. Okay, 
Okay, she's serious now, Mion. There's no way Mion would leave such an enticing event alone. Okay, now they're gonna have a punishment game again later. As if saying, but... Wait, there's more. The teacher reappeared with the principal in tow. So I guess a lot of people will be judging it. Five people? Even the principal? Looking around, it seemed like the interest of everybody in the class had been piqued. I mean, Rena is really good at cooking, right? So she's gonna have a, a little bit of an advantage here. Uh, what about Mion? She doesn't seem like she's too good at cooking. Her type has always been bad at this kind of thing, her type. But Mion could need to look unconcerned. It couldn't be. Mion couldn't possibly. At the moment the teacher's whistle sounded. The call to arms had sounded. Here we go. We had to use an outdoor kit to cook the rice, but it wasn't that difficult for a camping veteran like me. Put the rice into the canister, push your palm to the bottom, and fill with water to just above the wrist. You filthy liar. If I put in more, I'll be just left with some half cooked porridge. それが罠のつもりなら残念だったな。俺は慣れてるぞ。半合水班は。初め ってことは全員ご飯の炊き方は問題なし。つまり勝負の分かれ目はカレーの方ってことになるね。カレーこそリカの特段状ですわよ。皆さんの特典版ですわ。リカのってとこが泣けるぞ。いや、he yeah, she's helping by not helping. That was a pretty malicious comment for Rena. And Satako took it a hook, line, and sinker. Rena could only apologize between fits of laughter while Satako chased her around. After rinsing of the carrots, potatoes, and other standard vegetables, I grasped the knife. As Rena hummed along, her very well practiced hands wielded her knife. The rhythmic or rhythmical sound of the knife hitting the cutting board harkened to kind images of days long past. Simply put, it was perfect. It was so calm and practiced, I seriously don't stand a chance. 
But I wonder who's gonna win though. I looked over at Sazako and Rika-chan. Sazako was in charge of washing the vegetables while Rika-chan was in charge of peeling them. That's what I heard being discussed, but Rika-chan's knife skills are something else as well. She was happily rotating the potato and peeling it quite quickly. On top of that, the peel spanned the entire potato. What was that called again? Katsuramaki or Muki. I've heard that peeling a vegetable in one loop around like that is a highly regarded technique. She picked up the peel from the sink and carved a pair of eyes into it with her knife. Saying that, she placed a longly peeled potato skin on top of the head of a boy from her group. She wasn't even breaking a sweat. When it comes to Rika-chan and cooking, I couldn't even hold a candle to her. But roar? Do snakes make that sound? Snakes are hissing. Alright then, how's Mion doing? She's definitely just fumbling along. There's no way she can peel a potato so effortlessly like that. Absolutely no way. <laughs> Why is she good? As if she had already won, Mion probably showed me the elongated potato skin. Helicopter piloting? Hell no. Strangely enough, the latter items were more realistic. It was the first few items on the list that seemed like a lie. Damn it. I'm also really good at cooking though. Especially Chinese food. Shot down before I could even say it. <laughs> but yeah, he makes instant ramen a lot though, right? This does not look good. Everybody's smirking at me. Don't raise the white flag yet, Keiichi Maibara. Don't throw away this match. Calm down and think. Not about how to peel these potatoes well, but about how to win this challenge. Saying only that, I gathered up all the vegetables and left that spot behind. No matter how hard I try peeling these, if I slip up at the speed, I'll lop my fingers right off. Then there's only one thing left to do. Okay, <laughs> he's apprentices. They're here again. It was the two underclassmen that have become my sworn brothers ever since they invented the toy store last Sunday. They had been paired with two girls for their group. Both of them pointed at the girls. They're not as good as Rena, but they're both good enough at handling a knife. <laughs> 
たくましい奴らだなまあ当然だではこうしよう俺が勝てたらサトコリカちゃんグループのカレーを食わせてやるこれならどうだ<笑>A red mist spouted vigorously from the noses of the two underclassmen. <laughs> Having brilliantly cleared the vegetable peeling challenge, I returned to my comrades in triumph. <laughs> ケイちゃんが向いたのはジャガイモじゃなく牙でしょああ俺はとっくに本気だぞてめえらまとめてぶっ潰してやるぜ Having finished with preparing the vegetables Next is to boil a pot of water Then add the vegetables in order Oh, which takes the longest to cook I learned this part from my mother when we went camping But just cooking in order, it probably won't garner a lot of points. Look over at Rena, she had a variety of vegetables cooking together in a delicate balance. She wasn't being ambitious or calculating a way to win the game. She was making delicious food with a mother's touch. I have a feeling that I could somehow compete with Neon in terms of technique, but I would be no match for Rena. She was way out of my league. So, what meat do they use in、uh, what do you call this? In curry? Beef or pork? I don't know. 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 When she enters club mode, even the normally kind Rena becomes an enemy. Looks like Rika chan is cooking apples as well. She's like a pro at this. How about Mion? What? Mion, t e m e So, what are you doing? Okay, what did you do? I'm going to go to the h o u s e I'm going to go to the house. 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 Upon closer inspection, it looks like Mion brought her own vegetables and spices and other ingredients. They were spread all over the place. Mion, just for today, you brought all this stuff from your house. Objection. Dude, Objection is Ace Attorney, right? Maybe we'll play Ace Attorney in the future. I haven't played those games. Very nice. For that normally serious teacher to go so far as to offend the star to the end of her sentence, just as the rumor said, she's a true and true curry freak. Rena and Rika are the same as the old girl. I'm the new one. And Kei is the same as the old girl. It's hopeless. In the grand scheme of cooking, peeling the vegetable is only a small part of it. The hurdles I must overcome are just too numerous and too high. Okay. He sworn brother. Turning around, I saw the voices calling me. Belong to the two underclassmen from earlier Tomita kun and Oku, Oku, Okomara. Okamura, Okamura. <laughs> I'm sorry, Okamura, Okamura. Not that, Omara. Oh, so no, 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 no
づかれないうちに前原さんの鍋とすり替えてください。うん。うちの女子のカレーなら、ナラ、マイバラさんが作るよりは、出来はいいと思います。You guys for me? 勘違いしないでくださいよ。僕たち、マイバラさんに勝ってもらわないと。そう。Oh, that's right. If I don't win, then the talk of eating Satako and Rika chan's curry goes right out the window. It seems like you guys are getting riled up about this, too. Feeling in on day duty three times. These guys, assuring victory, have paid the price. That gaze filled with burning conviction from my underclassmen. Yeah, I'm not fighting this alone. I'm fighting this with everyone. It's a gas though, so controlling the hitty is easy. All that is left to let it stew a bit. The delicious smell of curry began wafting up upwards. The pot gifted to me by my two underclassmen certainly drew some double takes. Rena even looked surprised when she came to a look, so it must be pretty good. But I, I guess it, it's not gonna taste that good. Come on now. They're not gonna let Keichu win this one. Now he's being very humble. Come on, man. <laughs> What? Rika chan's calling me. What could it be? Well, whatever. While I'm at it, I can gather some intelligence on the enemy. Rika chan's team. Rika chan was dueling on the ground in front of the pot. Because all that's left is to let it stew. Even then, it's good to know that she doesn't leave the stove unattended. Yo! Rika chan no hoa, don't na guai dai? Hmm? Rika chan was doodling something strange and introduced it as Mr. Curry. Apparently, Mr. Curry shoots beams from his eyes. Drawing a beam with a stick, she etched a line towards my feet. Does this mean I've been shot with a laser? <laughs> I took another stick in my hand and reflected the beam striking Mr. Kerr. Rigachan and I scratch at the ground, thoroughly engrossed in our doodle war. Wait a moment. Nah, Rigachan. Ore ni nani ka yoga te yondan ja nai no ka? Hai, yobimashita desu yo. Demo mo go yo wa owatte iru no desu. Okay, it became creepy again. At the moment, a chill ran up my spine. Already fulfilled her purpose. Oh, hell no. No, Satoko did something with my curry. Headed back to my pot, standing there just as I feared was Satoko. With no questions asked, I drop kicked the back of her head. <laughs> she probably put a lot of salt in it. Oh my god. Oh, 
こう見えても私フェアですのよじゃあこのよくわからない並べ方をしてあるしゃもじとかお皿とかは何だこんな不安定な置き方をして倒れたらどうすんだよ At the moment, a gentle breeze blew by, knocking over a ladle that was stood up on its end. The ladle, like a domino, fell over and knocked over the next cooking utensil in a row. I didn't even have time to react. The chain reaction knocked over a cutting board, then a frying pan, and then next after that was my pot. The fry pan struck my pot full force, tipping it over. The contents cruelly spilled out, and now my masterpiece was being sampled by the schoolyard. I stared dumbfounded. It was such a beautiful and elaborate mousetrap that for a moment I lost touch with reality. You wanted this to happen, Satoko. <laughs> At the very last moment, I had let my guard down. I ignored the culinary incompetent Satoko for too long. Even if she couldn't cook, Satoko still had this method of fighting back. Just then, Rena, who didn't sampling her own pot, let out a scream. Oh my god, so you're tampering with everyone's curry? What is your problem, man? Was Rena also sabotaged? Then what about Mion? But yeah, why though? You've been you're wasting food basically. Come on. These two little girls, man, are evil. They're already very evil like this in their normal forms. What if when we see them in the evil forms, right? <laughs> like Rena and Mion. Rika-chan and Satoko rub my dumbfounded head to their heart's content. We lost. Pushing the desk together, it was about time for the me or for the meals to be judged. The delicious odor of curry spread throughout the courtyard. The members of the forestry service to whom we owed gratitude for their daily work were guided to their seats. The principal gave a bit of ceremonial introduction. Next, the teacher expressed her desire for them to judge the curry contest. The men from the forestry service seemed to like that kind of thing and gave their enthusiastic approval. Miss Chie, they sabotaged all of our curries. The two evil girls. Everybody in class brought up their painstakingly made curry and arranged them on the desk. The only club members who managed to a decent result were Rika Chan's group. <laughs> Knowing full well it was a failure, Rana plated her curry for the judges. She already knew she was going to get a low score. But at least she was still able to serve hers. Both Mion's and my curry were completely obliterated, so he couldn't even line them up on the table. The judges started from the curry made by the lower grades. They had a lively discussion praising the food. Finally, it was our curry's turn. Hmm. Their principal cheerfully shoveled a spoonful of Rena's salty curry into his mouth. Of course, his expression immediately changed. Ask those two little girls, Miss Chie. Chie sensei must have uh, some expectations judging from this, her disappointment. 
You can see it on her face. She's so disappointed. The rest of the judges grimace after they had each had a bite. I feel sorry for them. But we get a lesson, I guess. Failure is but the seasoning for success. Saying that, the principal devoured the rest of the oversalted curry in one go. Truly a man amongst men. Rena was down and out. Her offensive capabilities were something else, but she was defeated due to her weak defense. There was also the incident with Rena salted curry right before this, so the judge's assessment was extraordinarily high. Maybe not just extraordinary, but perhaps today's forerunner? The judges began a heated debate. One of those judges let out a sigh as he removed a chunk of carrot with a spoon. Personally, I think the carrots are a staple of curry. But I guess to each their own. However, seeing that Rika-chan read the nameplate on the chest of his of his coveralls, coveralls, and began to speak. Kyoji. What is she saying all of a sudden? Everybody turned to Rika-chan with a stunned look. But what Rika-chan just did was super effective. The carrot-eating judge began stuffing his face with curry, while tears streamed down his face. Kyoji. Kyoji. He's crying now. He's calling his mommy. While crying like that, he continued to shovel curry in his mouth. That's right. Rika-chan's curry was by no means simple. No, that curry had the taste of a mother's cooking. With a carrot-eating judge out of the picture, Rika-chan's assessment was unanimous. Sadako left off a shrill laugh as she declared victory, but at that moment... Okay, Mion? Ooh! All of a sudden... In its all in all its perfect glory, Mion's curry. Not only the judges, but a teacher and underclassmen, of course. Myself could only gasp in admiration. Hamburg steak with a demi-gloss glaze sauce and a fresh salad. 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 It's a set. It wouldn't be stretching it to say that it was a full course meal. It's perfect. Perfectly made. Satsuko was also shocked. Even Rika-chan couldn't hide her surprise. It seemed the victor was decided without even needing a taste. Of course, the hamburger was kind or hand that needed. The salad also had a homestyle dressing but of professional quality. And the curry not even a micron of grit. <laughs> インド六千年の英知と日本人の食文化の美しい融和の生きた証。先生、感激です。これは満点の仕上がりですね。百点をあげちゃいます。One bowed politely, and then winked at us with a smirk on her face. So, 
んなはずありませんわ確かにハンゴーに再興しましたのに I'm certain a sabotage that pot of rice Satiko? That's right, Satiko had dumped salt into Mion's rice cooker Which should have ruined it At that moment it hit me, I span back towards my own canister Oh she took Keiichi's rice At some point my cooking canister had been opened, its contents completely empty But yeah, I'd rather let me on window rather than Rika and Satsuko. Yeah, because those two little girls cheated the most. Mion clucked her tongue and waved her finger at me as a smirk washed over her face. I couldn't even properly voice my shame. ちょっとくらいなら分けてあげても。いいのいいの。これは授業料だよ。けいちゃんは今勝負を最後まで捨ててはいけないことを学んだの。it loathes me to say it, but Mion is right. To give up so quickly on the match was my own folly. For Mion to have brought that to my attention, I should actually be thankful to her. Well then, did that mean that even in this situation, I shouldn't give up? You should have protected my curry, boys. We should have won. Tomitakun and Okumara suddenly appeared. Damn it. Even though my protégés had tried so hard, I wasn't able to meet their expectations. Both of them were dejected. I couldn't accept defeat so easily. I was their senior. What would I be if I didn't pick up the broken pieces of the dream I had shown them? I just learned it from me on just now, didn't it? Didn't I? Don't throw away the contest, not until the last moment. But yeah, what can you even do now, though? Like, there's nothing you can do. I had an idea. I didn't think it could turn the tables, but it was better than nothing. Okay. The one last push, both of them dispersed after receiving these instructions. Shut up, Satoko. Yes, shut up. Orenosaigo じゃあ、レナ。お茶を入れてくれ。ほう、信頼されてない。それからサドコ。そしてリカちゃん。一気打ちを申し入れる。な、なんですって。お話を伺いますですよ。This was my duty to my two proteges. You shed blood, sweat, and tears for my sake. Satoko, 
firmly patting the top of Satiko's head, Mion said those words with all the gravitas of a club president. Okay. The judges seemingly growing tired of sampling the various curries were debating each entry. From what little I overheard, it seemed that Mion's impending victory was not in question. Imagine if Keiichi just picked up the curry right and put it on a plate and gave it to them. My combative posturing had drawn the attention of all the judges. Okay. Oh, he just made that onigiri? The judges smiled really at the simple fare that was cut in contrast to the preceding bravado. Rena poured tea into cups she had brought over from the break room. Rena's expression told me that she thought this was a great idea, but it might not still be enough to win the match. Not really. The judges were chewing with their mouths full and sipping at the tea. Nobody was singing praises or awestruck. They were just quietly chowing down. Because they were judges, they had to sample each and every offering. And because they were from small children, because they were made to show their appreciation, they couldn't eat just a little bit of, bit of each. They couldn't say it aloud, but this was the tastiest thing they had today. I confirmed that by looking at their eyes as the judges smiled really. The teacher and the principal had folded their arms while they pondered the situation. My underling, seeing that, saw some small glimmer of hope fade away and then grew dejected. Was his little surprise just not enough? Oh, Mion is cheering for us. Mion whispered quietly. That's right, if I didn't push here... The principal stopped the teacher. It looked like he was giving me one final chance. 
The judges, having eaten their fill, quietly waited for my statement. Naan. Yes, naan bread. ですから、このカレーライスという料理はそれを取り入れアレンジした日本の食文化の一つと言えるでしょう。冒頭に先生がおっしゃられた通り、インドと日本の文化の融合の結晶なのです。Honestly, Keiichi is just saying some BS, man, for him to win. <笑>前原君の言うことはわかります。でも、それとおにぎりにどんな関係が？とても簡単なことなんですよ。Rice was introduced to Japan from ancient China. Our agricultural forebears watered the fields, fighting the elements, the seas, and best to grow and raise our centric culture. Yes, the Japanese people have formulated a plethora of dishes, but those were nothing more than attempts to find ways to enjoy eating rice. In other words, it was scattered first, but slowly grew into a steady roar. It was a thunderous applause that praised me. You're gonna lose, Satoko. Mion, stifling her laughter, stepped forward. かつて食文化は決められたルールに縛られるものじゃない。文化なんです。日本に来れば日本の文化と溶け合って、また新しいものを形作る。だから、カレーもおにぎりも同じ日本の文化なんです。Mion. She was riding fires of war, I had to be grateful. The judges were somehow moved by this complicated yet baseless trivia. A stern look washed over the teacher's face as she refolded her arms. Maebara その形式は何ら差別されるものではない。じゃあ、じゃあ。お鍋をひっくり返したので、減点20。マイナス20ポイントの。でも、今日だけですよ。くじけないで頑張ったので、特別に20点プラス。お、そう、basically We won. We actually won. My underclassmen leap at me. A perfect score. We did it. We did it. The curry was split and the rice was taken. But we made a comeback. In the end, Rika-chan's curry also received full remarks. So everybody but Rena had a perfect score. Since this contest was, out was outside the scope of regular club activities, there wasn't any particular penalty game. Rena breathed a sigh of relief. But yeah, I actually thought that uh, they're gonna have a penalty game because yeah, it's pretty much a contest as well, right? <laughs> but I guess it didn't include it. I mean, you can eat, you can eat that salty curry, Satoko. Satoko stomped angrily at the ground in frustration, but the price of the meat was absolute. 
半分は食ってよし圭一ありがとうなのです My two protégés peered over from the sidelines, tears of joy streaming from their faces. We exchanged glances that would only be understood amongst men. We did it, my Barasan. And this is all thanks to you. We flashed each other a thumbs up. It's gone, somebody ate it. The ones I had set aside for myself included. As I peered around searching for them, the principal clapped a hand on my shoulder. <laughs> Wait, did he eat it? さっきのお前原君の話を聞いていたら噛み締める米の味がひときわ美味でのいやあのひょっとして俺の分も食べちゃいました he ate it, man. The principal ate it. <laughs> the principal simply laughed without answering. Seriously? My eyes half brimming with tears and my stomach rumbling. I was called over by the teacher. Oh, sorry, sorry. There was an odd glint in the teacher's eyes. If I had to describe it, it was curry colored. Like a pot of stew and curry, her eyes whirled around in a spiral. A chill washed over me. The teacher clutched me by the shoulders and drew me in closer until our noses were almost touching. I mean, she is the curry tyrant. Calm down. <laughs> She's going to curry heaven. あと片付け毛料理の一部ですのよ。ケイチ君、目が枯れだよ。どうしたのかな、この。ヘイ、ヘイ、ヘイ。あちゃ、やられたか。大丈夫。一昼夜で元に戻るよ。多分。It wasn't that long before hunger brought me back to my senses. Very nice art, I mean. Very enjoyable, honestly. The slice of life in this one, I think is much better when you compare it to the first, for the, to the to chapter one, I mean. The slice of life parts, yes. In the end, all of the nigiri was eaten by the principal, so I had to make would do without lunch. Skipping lunch, I never knew the afternoon could be so long and painful. A feeling other than drowsiness made me space out. As if I could eat this curry with enough salt in it to make my blood pressure rise just by looking at it. it is what I said as I initially refused. I could only regret it. The hunger, the stomach ache. まあまあ。よくしのいだよ。あの絶対的な状況下から。つくづく<笑> I had absolutely no intention of laughing alone. The job at Angel Mort Family Restaurant, huh? What did you say? Part time job again, see? 
That uniform was somewhat stimulating. Oh yeah, we didn't ask Renner, right, about Shion? Ah, uh, my bad. I completely forgot that how it how forget it was how it ended up being. I mean, I'm not sure if we can't we it's really hard to tell un until like we see them like in for example this scene but both of them are there right so until that happens i'm gonna believe that maybe yeah mion and Sheen is just one person and she's just in character <laughs> see even rena doesn't know shion but when we did the tips last time was it rika or satako they kind of they said they saw her, right i think what's Sat i think it was rika right あ、えっと、ミオの双子の妹なんだよ。性格は違うけど、外見は売り二つなんだ。そうそう。外見は似てるけど、中身は大違いなんだよ。I mean, they are twins, I suppose, right? If possible、私は優しくて汁深いけど、シオンは冷めてておっかない性格なんだよね。多分生まれた時にミオンの女の子らしい部分は全部シオンに行っちゃったんだと思う。I mean, true though, right? Complete opposite. She's a cute, cheerful girl, but they're pretty much look alike. Rena interjected as her eyes darted back and forth from our exchange. Shion's existence was already being exposed as a cover-up. I couldn't help Mia out here. I could only have her and the charade. Uh, um, I didn't know that みーちゃんちに行ってもあったことないよ。えっと、その、その、ほら、知ってるでしょ。バッチャと住んでるのは私だけだから。シオンは沖の宮の実家に住んでるの。あんまり仲が良くないから、うん、こっちには来ないんだ
As I was losing the last vestiges of my consciousness, the doorbell rang. It seemed I had a guest. Hi, dozo. I directed my listless voice at the door. It's the other one. She's here. It seemed I guessed Mion, or rather Shion. She seemed shocked when she saw me sprawled out in the entryway. I thought that Shion's existence was an illusion that was limited to when Mion was at the restaurant. But yeah, now she's here though, right? That's why I never considered that Shion would appear here. The thing is, uh, the thing is about Mion, right? In this, in this game or in this chapter in particular. I don't think she's mentioned or said old man or referred to her as an old man in this game even once, right? Maybe in the beginning, in the first episode, but yeah, other than that, I don't hear her saying that. Ah, So I couldn't really tell if this is real or not. She grew red and began to move. That's right, she was a younger twin right now. <laughs> we got a CG. With a disappointed smile, she unheld a small bento box she had hidden behind her back. お姉が学校に持って行ったハンバーグの残りがあったんで、ちょっと持ってきました。お夕飯前だとは思いますけど、いかがかなって思いまして。迷惑でしたか?迷惑なんてめっそうもない。すげえ嬉しいよ。本当
はいそれお姉きっと喜ぶと思いますではこの辺で Shion smiled brightly After bowing deeply she left as she looked at her watch Bye これ本当に大丈夫なんだろうな I looked at the bento box that she left behind. A faint warmth spread through the palm of my hand. If it were me on, I could see the hot sauce, mustard, maybe even a needle being mixed inside. But really, I don't think she would go as far as putting a needle in there. <laughs> so they're pretty much referencing the one in chapter one, right? But yeah, in this, I guess in this timeline, because yeah, the other one was different. Where this timeline, it didn't happen. They're, they're just kind, of, they're just kind of joking with it. I opened the box once again and hesitantly tasted a bit. I took a bite, and another. There was no funny business. There was no danger at all, for it was delicious. That's right. That was she on, not me on. So there shouldn't have been anything to worry about. I rushed back to my room, eating as I gave my thanks. It was so delicious that my stomach could cry. Shion, ah, yeah, Mio. I was going to die of hunger. You heard me when I was sick. You brought me here to eat. It was delicious to the last bite. By the way, nothing strange had been mixed in. I was a bit embarrassed at myself for being so skeptical. Finished. Oh, we got tips. It was delicious. Oi, Mio, Kore. Oh, so why is it in tips though? Why is it not in the main story? This could easily just—they、uh, could easily just slip this in the main story, right? I trust the bento box she'd given me yesterday at her face. You know, I gave you the bento box yesterday at her face. Thank you very much. It was good. Eh? Ah, that's right. Hey, now you're the one pretending to be Shion when you gave it to me. You're gonna give it away if you get all red like that when you're being me on. At this rate, she might trip and fall right into her own grave. So I decided to help her out. Ano na, ore. Kino hara o skasete taro sa. Shion ga waza waza uchi made kite bento o sashi dete kuretan da yo. De, kore wa sono bento bako. Chan to aratte aru kara na. Ah, ah, so, so nanda. That was so transparent. Was Mian always this terrible and lying? Her expression was different than usual, but it looked strangely cute. Honestly, the way she's acting like this, yeah, it makes me like triple think that they're just the same person. Mian, you're two different people. 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 Mion looked kind of bewildered, like she was waiting for a specific answer. When she said "impress impression," she didn't mean Shion, but the bento. Ah, もちろん、うまかったぜ。あ、俺は食い物の感想には嘘はつかないぞ。俺がうまかったって言ったら、誰が食ったってうまい。万人にお勧めできる評価だと思っていいぞ。シオンに実に美味しかったって伝えておいてくれ。あ、う、うん、シオンにね、伝えておくよ。きっと喜ぶと思うよ。<laughs> We're going along with Shion having given it to me, not me on aren't we? Yet her laugh, it came from deep down, and it sounded really happy. I guess she really can laugh nicely enough. That just looking her makes me feel better too. A sarcastic remark made its way onto my tongue, but I swallowed it back. As Mion went to put the bento box in her bag, she noticed a clattering noise. Kuchan, nanka hoitoru yo. Are? Ah. 
What? She opened it? The thing inside was a little embarrassing, so I wish she hadn't opened it here. Panicking, I hit it with my hands. What did he put there? Candy? There was a handful of candies neatly wrapped in a paper inside the sparkly clean bento box. When I was cleaning the box out yesterday in the sink, mom came over and interrogated me and I fessed up as to who had given me the food. Then she told me that something like this is called a, for display of gratitude. I didn't want to because it was embarrassing, so I argued that it wouldn't be like me to do that. I was so embarrassed it felt like fire might shoot out of my face. Mion laughing the whole thing off like she usually did would be fine, but for some reason she was staring at the candy in the box with fascination. <laughs> Look, look at the way she's blushing here. そ、それにミオンが俺を言う必要なんかないんだぞ。それはシオンにあげるものなんだからな。あ。うん。そうだよね。うん。シオンに伝えておくね。きっとシオンも嬉しがると思うよ。Mion looking a little downtrodden put the lid back on the box. Seemed like I ended up saying something a little mean at the end. Here comes Rena. なんで私の頭を撫でますの？さとこもきっとそのうちお風邪を引けるようになりますですよ。That was a nice continuation, right? The tips is a nice continuation for what Shion or Mion did last time. That was pretty nice. So yeah. It's really hard to tell right now because when you see Mion like that, right? She was blushing and everything. We don't really see her blush that much, especially in chapter one. And now in this chapter, she got another side to her, I suppose. And yeah, in the beginning, we also had a doll, right? And then we gave it to Rena, but Mion kind of wanted it for some reason. So we'll see. But imagine though, for example, right? like the scary moments for example it was really just one person it was just really me on imagine if they had a scene like she kept changing right for example she had two personalities one she on one me on and she kept switching up it would have been terrifying and yeah funny at the same time i suppose but let's see it but yeah my guess is we'll see if she's actually real maybe like, I think this is a big deal, right? The big deal to the story. So maybe by the end, they're gonna reveal it like, oh, there was actually two of us or no, it was just me, right? <laughs> we'll see. But yeah, we had a nice curry, curry-centric episode for most of the part in the earlier, uh, yeah, in the, in the earlier parts of this, this episode we had. And then yeah, Shion gave us a bento. So that was all today. A very nice slice of life moment. I kind of love it. I think the slice of life in this chapter, yeah, I said it earlier, but yeah, I'm gonna repeat it again, is much better in this one, chapter 2, than in chapter 1, because of the games or the things that they're playing right now is much more easier to understand. Yes, no card games and stuff. The card games are very hard to understand, honestly. I didn't know, not all the time, but the first card game they played on chapter 1, yeah, actually, it was really hard to understand, not gonna lie. So yes, anyways, we're gonna continue this and do more of Higurashi When They Cry, Chapter 2, Watanagashi, in the next one. So I'll just see you then, guys. Bye-bye.